back in the boss man show from the show aw hamilton eastern kentucky colonels ovc 12 and 2 on the year seven in a row got a big game tonight is ut martin coach what's up how you doing man man thanks for having me on man you know i always enjoy being with you yes indeed well coach let's take go back to march man when everything kind of went down with COVID, man you was already done with your season but how was it for your guys going home from spring break not seeing them again for months uh, and then coming back and trying to reacclimate them to, you know, the new way of life with protocols and COVID. You know, it, it was a challenge because, you know, we were having such a promising year. We we went, we go 12 and 6 in OVC. Uh, we make a run in the OVC tournament. It was our first OVC tournament win since 2014. Um, we're, we're geared up to playing the CIT and then boom, the COVID hits. And, you know, I got to bring the guys in and, and tell them, that one, we're not going to be playing, and, and two, that, you know, they're going to be going home for the rest of the semester. It, it was a very strange and scary time, and um, it was hard to uh, – the adjustment on the academic side, that was our main focus, and, you know, and it was a challenge. You know, you go from being in class with your professor to then, you know, everything is via Zoom, online, and, um, you know, so it, it was a challenge for our guys, but I was proud of how they handled it, and, you know, we got through the semester, you know, and uh, it was really proud how they had faced that adversity. Most definitely, Coach. I know for me, I couldn't do it for virtual learning. That would suck for me. I got to be in class. So, you know, I can appreciate your assistant, your assistant coaches played a big role as well. Academic advisor, I mean, it get keeping your young men's mind focused when they're at home away from you guys. They had structural study halls and things like that. They're on campus. So I can only imagine how great a job your staff did, your assistant coach and your academic advisor, to keep your young men in grades high through this tough time. No, they, they did a phenomenal job. We, we've got Eastern Kentucky. I tell people this all the time. This is a big time place. Uh, you know, we have such great people here, um, you know, and it's a booming university. It's growing. Uh, there's new dorms, dining facilities, rec centers. I mean, this this place is rocking here, man. I got to get you down here so you can see it. You wouldn't believe it. I mean, it's it's unbelievable. Yeah, I haven't been in a long time to see you guys campus in Richmond. It's real nice, too, up there, man. It's real laid back. You're not that far from Lexington, Kentucky. It's kind of you town to yourselves. A you know, nice little tucked off area there, man. I like your campus. I got to see you for real. I got to come there and see you. When I go up to see you, go up the way, come up your way. I go to Louisville all the time, so I got to come by and see you guys for real. Oh, listen, man, you got to stop in here, man. We'll hang out. I'll take you to my lunch spot around here, man. We'll, we'll you'll, you'll love it, man. You'll be so impressed with what we're, what we're doing here, though. It's, it's not just the basketball piece. It's, oh, yeah. it's everything. You know, when you talk about over $350 million of, of student life enhancements in the last 45 months and all the renovations and the things they're doing, uh, the community here, it, it's, it's just impressive. It'll blow you away. Now, Coach, speaking of that now, I know that helps your recruiting because I know when your facilities are upgraded and, you know, you have a great campus like you have, you're winning games. So how was it? I know you're an in-person guy. I know you love to see people. So how was it recruiting via Zoom this year, man, trying to get your 21 class field, 22 classes field via Zoom and the dead period probably be longer this year past April? You know, again, I, you know, I give a lot of credit to my staff. You know, we were able to sign a really good class last spring. Um, you know, you know, recruiting is something that you do every day. And when we got hit with the pandemic and, you know, we couldn't go out on the road, we couldn't see people. We were already had so many great relationships developed from just from the process of recruiting and uh, developing those relationships. So, you know, we signed a really good class. And then as we continue to go forward, it's a challenge because you know how it is, man, you, you know, I, I want to get to know the person. I want to see oh, him yes. in person I, and look at him right in their eyes and talk to him and tell him who we are and, and what we do here. And, and you know, so it, it, it is a challenge. But look, we got a great group, core group of guys here now at Eastern Kentucky. You know, we're, we're in our third year. We got a great core group. Um, we're, you know, we're, we're becoming a group that's really mature because, you know, we started freshmen our first year here. And, you know, now we got those guys are juniors. They're matured a lot. And, you know, now we've got a good core. So now the stress of going to sign five guys, six guys that we were facing when we first got here, it isn't there anymore. 
most definitely. And he, on court, you saw last year the improvement you made from year one to year two. This year, 12 and two, six and one in conference play. Because you know, the OVC is we both, you and I both know, it's tough as hell every night in that conference, man. We know. So seeing your guys mature the way they have and the way you get on his role, knowing the way, you know how weird this year was. Got to make you feel happy. 14 games in the COVID year and playing this well, you got to feel really good about your team. Yeah, no, look, we're like everybody. We face so many challenges and so much adversity. I look at our non-conference. We go six and one. It's the best non-conference winning percentage since 1948-49 here at Eastern Kentucky. And then we race out to we're seven and one or six and one in the league. Uh, we get off to the best start since the 46-47 season at Eastern Kentucky. That's 74 years. And, and look, we, we're just like everybody else. You know, we've had guys miss games. We've had injuries. We've had a little bit of everything. And we're finding different ways to win these games. And, you know, that started last year. You know, we get into OVC play. We have a really tough non-conference schedule. We have everything that could go wrong went wrong. Then we get into league play, and we go 7-0 and in two possession games. We figured out how to close out games. And what we did in practice, we just started doing every day. We'd put four minutes on the clock. I'd put 81, 80, 78, 74. We would just do situational things. And we had, because we had to figure out how to win these close games. And we did that. And then this year, we fast forward to this year, we're doing the same thing. You know, I think we're 4 0 in, in two possession overtime games in our conference. We're figuring out, we figured out how to win close games. And that's what a good basketball team's got to do. You know, you got to win four minute games at the end. That's just what it is. Oh, yeah. And let me ask you this, coach, how's making practice, a plan for practice change for you this year? Because I know in the past you want to do a certain way. So, how has practice been trying to make it, you know, by, by getting guys sick and hurt because, you know, you got to deal with this COVID thing? How's that been playing practice going forward? You know, our, our style, and, you know, I give uh, Coach Keats a lot of credit for this you know, working for him, playing for him. You know, what we do is we get our kids in the best shape they can possibly be in. They're, everybody on our team is in the best shape of their life. And so what, what, we, what we say is in our program and the way we play, we're built for, for this type of adversity. Because look, everybody's got to play. So everybody's got to play. So, you know, we spend so much time on conditioning, doing skill work. Yeah, we compete every day. We get after, we press, you know, in practice. But, you know, we've really focused on just getting our guys in the best shape we can possibly get them in because you just don't know what's going to happen. You got that right. And you know, you got, like you said, it's so just inflexible, so give me so flexible. And I'll tell my staff this too, coach. You got to adapt, overcome, and conquer. Because I, I have interns, of course, six, six of them, and they all young. So I got to teach them the, the way, you know, like, look, you got to, yeah. this, this is life. This is life here. So if for your for your team, how'd you approach this year and tell them that hey, this is life? You know, you got to be flexible. You got to adapt. You got to overcome and conquer adversity whenever it comes your way. Yeah, you know, one of our things is here is that no matter what, we're always going to stay together. And we're going to bend, but we're not going to break. No matter what gets thrown our way, we're going to stay together. Um, and that's, what's made, that's what our group is all about. The best thing about our team is, yeah, we're super talented. We got great depth. We got great players. Um, but our guys love each other. Our okay. chemistry is through the roof. I've had two teams. I've been a head coach since my ninth year. I've had two teams. Uh, before this year that, that the chemistry was magical. My first year as a head coach, I had Montrez Harrell, and our chemistry that year was incredible. And we go 38-1, and one, we lose in the national championship game when I was at Hargrave. And then in 2016, we win the national championship, and we go 43-2, and two, and our, our chemistry was through the roof. It was through the roof because everybody loved each other. It's very rare when you have a team like that. Our team now – these guys, they love each other. And that's the best thing about our group. And, Coach, I feel like, you know, COVID made you have, have, to, be, have to be in that we mentality even more because, you know, we all face an adversity together. We, we, if we're together, we can overcome all this stuff. Because I feel like that we mentality, okay, that connectivity, you, like you said, the close games, if you have that, you, you can get through a tough game with some bad calls, a bad foul call here, a turnover. You can still overcome because you're together and believe in each other and trust each other to get the job done. And, look, this summer, I had, you know, I had cancer. I had a, I had a battle cancer. And, um, you know, it was really eye-opening to me uh, and made me appreciate things even more. And, and what, I, what I'd say is that every day is a blessing. Yes, and sir. no matter what, I, I'm gonna, I, every day I'm going to give my kids, my players, everything I got. 
And all I ask is them for them, for them to give me everything they got. And, and that's what we do. And, you know, so, you know, every day, every day we get to compete, it's a blessing. Every day we get to play a game, we get to practice, we get to go to school, we get to be around each other. Yes. We're healthy, we're safe. It's all a blessing. You got there. Well, I'm going to ask you how, you, how are you feeling right now? Are you on the road to recovery, fully on the road to recovery? How, how, you, how are you feeling? I, I feel great, man. I feel great. I, I was able to catch my cancer at stage two and, you know, really got lucky. I had no symptoms. Um, you know, my brother-in-law has a stroke. So I was like, ah, maybe I should go get a physical. I hadn't had a physical done, uh, done since 2005. So I go get a physical. I have a little mole on the back of my ear. I show my doctor. And he was like, God, ah, that's probably nothing. He sends me to the dermatologist. Dermatologist cuts it off. He says, ah, it's probably nothing. We'll run a biopsy on it. Calls me two days later and says, man, I can't believe I'm telling you this. You have stage two melanoma. You got to get over to the oncologist's office right away. Oncologist calls me two days later. I'm in his office. And um, he says, look, man, he says, best case, you're going to have a major surgery. And you're going to see me for the rest of your life because we got we got to monitor monitor this cancer and make sure it doesn't come back. He says, worst case, you're going to end up in a box in six months. Melanoma is the scariest cancer you can get because it's so unpredictable. It can spread like wildfire. So, mm. you know, it was um, it, it was a challenging summer, um, but, um, you know, made my made me stronger, um, made me appreciate things more, got, made me closer to God and made me appreciate the little things that we got in life. You know, it's in coach. You playing? You was playing Martin tonight. You know, I had talked to Coach Stewart three weeks before he passed away. So when I heard he had passed away, it just sunk my soul because I literally talked to him three weeks ago on the show. So like you said, you gotta cherish every day because he was here and he was gone that fast. And I know his young son Parker and his team is probably devastated right now. I know you, Montez Robinson, doing a good job with him, but just that's a clear example of how, like you said, in your example of Kevin Kevin Cancer, you can find that out how life hits you. You just gotta be enjoy every moment you have. You never know when it would be your last. Yeah, no, no question. Get, you got to make the most of it every day, man, every day. And you got to appreciate them and they're all a blessing. And look, man, you know, we all have unique jobs and special, special opportunities. I got to give my players the best I got every day. You know, I have to. And then, you know, when I go home, I got to be the best father, husband I can possibly be. And, um, you know, and, and that's what I'm focused on right now. And look, this, we're having fun at Easter, man. We're having fun. These kids have fun. They love playing with each other. They love playing for each other. They love playing for this university. So we're having fun. It's been a fun season. And look, what, what we wanted to do when we got here is we wanted to build a team and a program that year in, year out, that we could compete for a championship. You know, and as we keep moving forward, we're getting closer and closer. And, and it's an exciting time here. You got that right, man. I remember when we first talked, when you got hired, you told me the exact same thing. And it's and I love seeing that you put that plan into action because I want to ask you this. For you as a head coach, what's been your, your biggest difference at Eastern from when you got there, when we first talked, when you got hired back for year one to now? Because I've I just seen the growth. But for your mind and your I listen to who missed miss our previous talks, how was it being Brilliant's program from when you got there to now with the guys you have that are so good and, you, and they love each other? Tell our listeners really more about that journey. Yeah, you know, look, we, we had to establish our brand, you know, and, and that was the hardest thing because, that look, I think any great organization, any great team, you got to have a brand and you got to have an identity. And when you told me, you and I talked, I said, look, man, we're going to press for 40 minutes. We're going to play extremely flat fast. And, you know, you and I talked, it was like, man, that's going to be hard. And, you know, it's hard because I had to come in here and completely change everything we were they were doing you know, to completely change the style. And then I had to get those guys that first year to buy into it. And it was so important that first year we didn't, we had, a, we had, you know, we didn't have a great year, but what we were able to do, we established our brand and our identity. We finished number two in the country in steals per game, forced turnovers. We were top 13 in the country in scoring. We broke a ton of records at Eastern Kentucky. We were number two in the country in tempo. And what I was able to do is I, I was able to say, okay. Then we, we went out and recruited the next class. I said, man, this is what we do, man. Look, look, this is what, we, this is what we've been doing. And then, you know, I was proud of that group. And then as we kept getting new recruits in here, new players, building this brand, building the identity, becoming the best condition team in the country, then it started turning and, and it's helped us get, you know, continue to get really good players in, in Eastern Kentucky. 
Now, Coach, for our listeners out here, I tell you, I tell them all the time, OVC is tough. You know, I went to Tennessee State, so I know very intimately how hard it's the conference is. So tell our listeners one more time, Coach, from top to bottom, it's no easy nights in that conference. None. No, there, there, there is no easy nights in this league. I mean, there's great coaches. There's great players. You know, go, going on the road in any league is tough to win. So, you know, the, the, you know this league, man. This league is this league is tough. You know, you talk about Murray, Belmont, Austin P, Jacksonville State. I mean, I could talk about all the teams. You know, it, I mean, it, this is a, this is a tough league, and um, you know that's why you know when we're sitting here six and one in the league, we still got a long way to go, man. A long way to go. You know, you can lose every you can lose every night in this league. You get up there, right? I remember back in my back in my day when I was around was Frankie Allen and those guys and Ty Alexander. I was around then, all those old days, man. But yeah, coach, for my list, for, for, for people who listen, to coach, I, for Atlanta House, go, go play Coach Hamilton because you will come home and play Jacksonville State. I was a hundred miles away from here, so go play for Coach Hamilton, in Eastern Kentucky. If you can play the game of basketball, you want to press, have a good time, and have a fun, coach. Little high school kids, holler at my man up the Eastern. Do that, please. <laughs> If you want to play fast and run and get up and down, shoot a bunch of threes, you know, hey, this is it for you. Come on. We want you. Well, Coach, man, thank you for your time today on the game day. Look, I'm going to take your brother off, man. I got to come up there and see you guys at Richmond, man. I would love to see what you guys are doing up there. I love the Colonels. You always been good to me, man. And I wish you best, the very best of some year healthily and your players will be healthy as well, Coach. Hey, thanks for having me on, man. Love talking to you. You're my guy, man. I'll see it's, you soon. Come on. Come on down here. I sure will, Coach. Hey, buddy, be good, man. See you soon, brother. All right. See you. All right.